Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara's in the background somewhere. And this was my EDC today along with a couple other things that I have in my EDC uh, pouch that I'm carrying from Real Man Real Leather. But this video is about the unboxing that's in this package. So let's get into it. Alright. We got this baby taped up real nice like. Real nice like. All right. The beauty of a Tanto. All right, let me open it over here just in case. Oh yeah, first off. um. So first off, I should just say right off the bat, these, this whole box was sent from Carlos EDC. Shout out to him. He actually threw in some Hanks, which is really nice. Thank you, man. That's awesome. I'm going to link his channel below. Definitely, definitely go subscribe to him. Oh, man, that's awesome. B Hanks. These are really good quality. Good size, too. We got a medium, and I don't know. I guess you'd call this one maybe a medium and this one a large. You can see the size difference. I love these things. These things come in hand so much. Oh, we got another one. Oh, cool. Nice. Also, another thing these things um, come in hand with besides, like, just EDC-wise is, um, like, is this. You know, photography, pictures, having a soft spot to lay your knives. Um, I really like having these things. Thank you, Carlos. I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. All right. So now um, I talked about it a little bit, but I'm involved in a pass around group for from Best Tech. There's only a few of us involved, which I think m makes it really good because there's only five of us, so it's not like we ever have to wait too long. Now, I do have to review these uh, quite quickly, but the reason why they wanted, wanted us to do it is to use them, to do you know whatever I do for my review, which you guys already know how I do my reviews, but that's the point. You know, the point, whoa. Oh, that looks nice already. Look at that micarta. That's some nice micarta. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Now, I, this is, that's the, the designer. Um, excuse my hands. Um, I've been working. But now, the, the point of this is to use them, sharpen them, um, you know, like get a good feel of them as an EDC knife and do a real review, not just sit here and show them to you and tell you the materials, but to make, you know, the design, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say better, but you know what I mean? Like some of the aspects of the design show the benefits or the negatives to them so that people really or the company knows you know like um where the faults are or where the benefits are and this thing's really cool i like the thickness right here i like the jimping because right here i noticed it right away when i'm like this i got this jimping right here on the spine on two locations but then also right there bam my pinky hits one too so it's literally like kind of like my hands going like this where my thumb is pushing forward my pinky's kind of pushing back like this and i'm really locked in and like i said guys excuse my hands i shouldn't even say anything you guys probably wouldn't even look at my hands if i didn't say anything but me and carol were just doing some yards or outside stuff so but very cool very very cool let's get to this next one Oh, <laughs> wow. This is a little guy. Um, I've never seen one of these. Good flipping action. Wow. Yeah, this is such a little guy. Little EDC knife slash neck knife. It comes with the chain, as you can see. And then, I don't know if it goes this way or this way. That way, right there. Bang. So then you can pop it out from your neck and flip. Good detent. Like I said, I do not know the names of all these. This is just an unboxing, first impressions. Uh, let's see if we can reverse flick this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's little. And then this is, uh, it's not that it's tight. It's just small. 
you know, there's good access to the lock bar, but it's just small. You know, the flipper tab hits my finger right there. But, you know, it's not going to be that type of knife, a drop, shutty kind of knife. But the action's really good. Cool anal work. What kind of blade still? S35VN. Nice detent. And like I said, you can reverse flick it. Nice little knife, though. Very cool. Very cool. Next, we have one more. Oh, it looks like the big version to that little guy. Oh, that is cool. Okay, so, so far, this one's my favorite, I think, out of the three. I really do like this. Wow. That, man, that's some good action. Uh, we do have it hitting the detent right there, but that's all right. You can't get past it. Great leverage on the flipper tab. Let me move this stuff just a little bit. The det or the, the flipper tab, you see how high that is? You know, compared to the middle of the pivot right there, which is going to give it a lot of leverage. Man, you get a lot of leverage. It's very fall shut when you release the lock bar, but, you know, you do have this spot right here that does catch on. So once you get it down pat, I can see, like right there, it's hitting the detent ball. It's easy to push past, but my point is, is you find a, a good placement for your finger to either let it fall down like that or to where it'll hit and be past the detail and find it right there reverse flick is super easy thumb flick also pretty easy ergos are awkward back here up here not too bad i mean it is different you know obviously you can kind of see it, oh, this is this is, is this an Asham design? Yeah, they're both obviously. This is the little guy. This is the big guy. Same designer. This is an Asham design. Um, we'll see how that clip works in the future. Look at the um the inside of this lock bar right here. See the machine lines? That's pretty cool. Um, lots of or there is some milling on the inside. Detent is on point, though, boy. Man, that detent is on point. It's a little awkward, though, like, um, just because I'm not used to it yet. But we will get a good review on this thing. Um, check the geometry. Let's check out. Okay, so nice little landing zone right here. I'm guessing this is S35. Yep, S35VN. Nice satin finish. Um, we'll definitely sharpen this bad boy up too. See how this uh, Bestex S35VN sharpens and just how good it sharpens. I really get a good feel of how a knife is going to feel. You know, I, I also use the knife too, so I'm going to see how it feels in use, but also in sharpening because uh, that really tells you sometimes like, you know, repeated going across the stone really tells you how good a knife is going to feel in different grips. But yeah, very, very cool, man. I'm very happy to uh, to be a part of this um, because, you know, it's a small pass-around group. And being in big pass-around groups, I mean, I just, you know... You know, I, I think they're awesome. I think everybody involved in those have a really good thing going, and I, I love that for them. I just prefer not to be in one of the bigger ones. Um, You know, I don't you know, know all the details, so I'm not going to talk about it or speak on it, but I do like being in one of these smaller ones. Man, that action's really nice. definitely unique you know it's definitely a unique knife this grip i'm guessing is going to be like a typical grip where you wrap your middle finger around let this kind of sit right in the palm and use it like a utility cutter i'm guessing that's going to be 
um, a typical way to use it. The clip looks like it's going to work good. I can't say that for sure yet. Hopefully it's not, you know, um, a pocket shredder. Yeah, that feels like it's going to be a very good clip. So we'll see. Thumb flick. But yeah, we'll see how that thing goes. Um, very, very cool. And yeah, um, thank you, Carlos, for the Hanks. And definitely go check out Carlos in the links below. I will link his channel below. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.